Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I am Ken Sledge. And I'm Ashley Sledge. And let's talk horror. So today we are going to review the new movie from 2023, Cobweb. Now, while this is not going to be a complete spoiler review, it's going to be spoiler-ish. So if you haven't seen this movie, don't walk, run to your nearest theater, or if it's streaming by the time you watch this, make sure you're checking this out on VOD, buy a physical copy, and then come back and watch our opinions on the film. So we're going to give you our positives, our negatives, and a little bit of some final thoughts. So let's get right into the positives of Cobweb. So some of the positives in the film, um, the score, super creepy, super mm -hmm. unsettling, makes a lot of the different scenes very suspenseful. I really enjoyed the score. Right. Ashley and I have always said that a score can make or break a film. Um, and while we're watching the film, Ashley actually said this score reminds me of Halloween. Yes, it's Not very, the film. very just Halloween-ish. Right, like the season of Halloween. Yes. And um, it really enhances a lot of this film, not just the scares, but the sadness, mm -hmm. the anxiety, the constant dread. Mm -hmm. uh, something else we talked about. This reminds me a lot of The Strangers, The Dark and the Wickets, and Brian Bertino work, where you're constantly building, mm -hmm. constantly building. Another film that I would compare this to in the most positive ways possible is Barbarian. Mm -hmm. I feel like you get a lot of Barbarian vibes throughout this film in the best, best possible way, because I was a huge fan of that film as well. Um, but you're waiting like mm -hmm. please scare me please just jump give jump me scare me give me something to break this tension and they're like no thank you we're just gonna keep stretching it out we're gonna keep building that anxiety mm -hmm. and they did it at a fever pitch and it was amazing absolutely um the acting was so mm -hmm. good um yep. the little boy peter woody norman mm -hmm. um he was so believable pretty young kid um but yeah he just the different ways that he acted were, yeah. was very believable. And then you have dad, who's Tony Starr, and then mom is Lizzie Kaplan. They mm -hmm. both did a phenomenal job. There are different ranges in this uh, movie. You get two different um, type of people yes. almost. Yes. And the range is awesome. And Tony Starr, probably best known for his role in The Boys. Yes. Uh, Lizzie Kaplan, at least for us, most well known for Cloverfield. Yeah. Um, so, you know, two people that we are familiar with, but aren't the biggest names in the world, but they came on and just killed it. They really did. Um, it's a, uh, they just, they did a great job. Mm -hmm. uh, also, Miss Divine. Miss Divine loved her. Um, Cleopatra uh, Coleman, yep. she did an awesome job. Um, I, th this is a character that you're very much so rooting for. Right off the beginning. And uh, real quick, I just want to say, for those of you that don't know, uh, I used to work in a school system. I was a parapro in a school system. And Miss Divine's character is a genuine good person. Mm -hmm. And you really meet people like that that really, really go above and beyond and really care about children. And it was one of those things where you're watching her and I just fell in love with her right away. Mm -hmm. Like she is such a sweet, kind, amazing person. Absolutely. Um, and then the little jump scares that you do get are very, very effective. Not little as in little little bit. Like, like the not amount. very many. Yes. yes. The amount of jump scares that you do get <laughs> were very effective. Um, there's one in particular that I, I was like, what is going on? Yes. Yes, uh, watch out for that wall. The um, wall, yes. <laughs> uh, something I want to say about this film, and I'm going to give this in the highest of praise possible. This film has one of the best nightmare sequences yes. I've seen in a very mm -hmm. long time. Now, something else that we want to add. Ashley and I both, neither one of us watched a trailer for this film. No, we went into this film completely, completely blind. Completely blind. We knew nothing I, about the film. I think that makes it better. You yes. know, we, we weren't expecting anything. Right. So we went back and watched the trailer after we had seen the film. Nothing, you get nothing from the trailer. Except you get a little bit of this dream sequence. Which, it, I'm glad I didn't see the trailer. Yes. That's all I'm going to say. Yes. I'm glad we went into this completely me blind. Too. Because that part to me, I was just, I was literally just like, I turned to Ashley and I was like, wow, mm -hmm. that was fucking incredible. It was, it was so good. Yes. Um, so a lot of people know that my favorite movie is People Under the Stairs. And I, I feel like mommy and daddy, um, dad and mom in this movie yeah. is from mommy and daddy. There's a lot of similarities between the two. Um, and I, I just, I really felt like that's yes. maybe, you know, you know what I mean? I feel, I definitely feel like not just because how the mom and dad had such a mommy and daddy vibe to them, not in a creepy, 
uh, brother, sister, mommy, no, daddy. No, no, not but like that. But in how unhinged yes. you thought they were yes. was amazing. But I feel like there's a lot more people under the stairs influence on this film than just mommy, daddy. Oh, um, there are certain scenes throughout the film there is. that you're, you know, we're looking at each other and I'm like, I know you're loving this movie because of how much I, I it really, feels like I really the people did. under the stairs. I really and, did. Yeah, I, I definitely, I was like, do you get this too? Do you get this vibe? And yes, he was like, oh yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. uh, one last thing I want to say about the positives. Uh, a movie that Ashley and I both love very, very much is Idle Hands. Yes. And there is a kill in this movie that is very, very reminiscent of a kill in Idle Hands. Um... And I feel like it is so on the nose. I almost feel like this was, you know, an homage to that kill mm -hmm. because of how spot on it was. Um, if not, it was a happy accident because it's still one of the best kills in this movie as well. So, um, as always, we are going to not only give you the positives of the film, there are some negatives that we would like to talk about as well. So, let's get right to those negatives. Okay, now there is no such thing as a perfect movie. Mm -hmm. And some of our negatives may seem nitpicky, but they are negatives in our eyes. And one of the first things I want to say is there are way too many twists slash misdirections to this movie. Now, in my opinion, that's a negative. But what I can say is I have not stopped thinking about this movie since I watched it. Mm -hmm. I've been going back in my brain and re-watching scenes that happened earlier in the film. I can't wait to sit down and watch this film again. Mm -hmm. Um certain lines of dialogue come back in big ways yes um, a lot of foreshadowing yes we, we talked a lot about that last night too mm -hmm. a lot of foreshadowing sometimes things aren't always as sweet as they seem they, to be they aren't um there's just certain moments that you're watching this family does not solve things with violence mm -hmm. um there are certain things throughout the movie where you're just like how this doesn't make any sense to me and then it comes back full force. Yeah. So uh, while I like how some of it comes to play, because like I said, I've been constantly thinking about it. To me, I don't like when you have all these different twists, all these different misdirections, all these different things that are all going at one time. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it convolutes the third act, which we'll talk about here in a little bit. Yeah, um, something that I talked about last night was the there's a bully in, in it. Um, and then, um, I don't know, it just felt very unnecessary. I felt like they used the bullies just to have more kills. Yes. To ha to add the kill count. Um, James will love them. Yeah. But um, what I think with that is, uh, I feel the same way as you. Mm -hmm. I feel like that whole plot is extremely unnecessary. And I get why they did it, not just for that, but to try to give you a more of a hero and Miss Divine. But I think that yeah. you already do that with the picture. It, yes, absolutely. So, so you don't, that's something that you didn't felt have. To, it felt forced. Yeah. Especially when you get no, there are movies where bullying comes into play and it actually has a big effect on the film. Come Play mm -hmm. is a movie that comes to my mind. Uh, when you have a bully storyline that actually makes sense and you actually get a, a, an explanation as to why it's happening. Mm -hmm. In this movie, it seems forced in the way that uh, we don't have any type of explanation. We don't yeah. know why this is happening. Um, and to me, I, I am not into that. I also want to kind of get to the bottom of why this is happening. Um, you talked about up in the kills. Uh, a lot of off-screen kills. Yes. Um, for as fast-paced as the third act becomes, uh, it does become kind of a bummer how yeah. off-screen a lot of it is. Now, that said... I would rather it be off screen than CGI and look really bad. I agree with that, but I do. With the way they did the creature design and things like that, I feel like we could have gotten some really cool practical kills mm -hmm. in this movie. Yeah, I, I feel like we could have gotten more. And even more of like the creature itself, like watching the creature, right. you know. Right. Well, and that's our friends here's where we're really gonna do our little bit of spoilers that we have. So again, Spoiler alert, here come the spoilers. So Sarah. That's all you're gonna get, you, Sarah. Sarah is overly comical looking and right. I wish she would have looked more human-like. What really bothers me about Sarah is throughout the whole movie, uh, it's very realistic. Um, a yeah. lot of this feels like it's very much grounded in reality. Uh, then when you get the introduction of Sarah, 
it definitely turns more supernatural. Yeah, and it just kind of takes away from the scariness maybe of yes. her. It, it doesn't seem as... The as, mystery's gone, yeah. and it's not in a good way. Yeah. Um, I really wish we could have gotten a better looking Sarah. I do too. I bet the parents do too. Um, <laughs> but another big thing about this too is we talked about the third act. Um, I'm not a fan of the third act. Uh, I think that is the anchor to this film. Uh, the writing on this whole film was phenomenal. Even yeah. the writing of the third act was great, but the execution of it, I think that the final twist to the film is fantastic. Mm -hmm. I think it's a fantastic twist. Absolutely. Um, but I feel like it was so convoluted, and the way Sarah herself, to me, is the weakest part of the film. Yeah, well, um, I mean, she, yes, in she, the third act, she yes. is. Because she's just so almost superhuman yeah. that it doesn't make sense to the rest of the film. Right. So, and, um, and I just, I felt like the ending was just like forced. Like, you know, it was just like, okay, this is how it's going to end. We're done. Bye. It's almost like it legit is almost a cliffhanger ending. Yeah. Um, if this would have been the ending to a season of a TV show, I might've been okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the way that it ends with absolutely nothing answered. Um, now you don't have to, you know, paint it out for me you don't have to spell right. it out for me but at least give me a little bit of what's happening here mm -hmm. um so that that to me is the the biggest problem to me of the film was the third act yeah. um so I like agree. i said we do have some negatives to the film that we did have some positives to the film we had more positives i feel like than negatives way more yes. so now we're going to give you our final thoughts and our ranking of the film I'm going to give this movie a three and a half out of five. Um, I really did enjoy this movie a lot. Um, like we talked about, it's very suspenseful. The anxiety you feel through the entire film. Um, the actors, they did phenomenal. Even the child actors, they were really good. Um, the negatives that we did come up with, they are a lot less than the positives. And I honestly, I do want to rewatch this movie again because yeah. I, I had a lot of fun with it. If you know me, you know that um, People Under the Stairs is one of my favorite movies. And this reminds me of it a lot in, in different ways. Yeah. So, so yeah, 3.5 out of 5 is what I would give it. Funny enough, I'm going to give it 3.5 as well. Nice. Um, I think that a lot of the influence, like I said, this reminds me a lot of Barbarian, a lot of People Under the Stairs, a lot mm -hmm. of these movies that I really do genuinely love as well. Um, I wish, like I said, the, the biggest thing for me is the third act. I'm not a fan of the third act of the film. I think that, again, I think it was written very well, oh. but the execution just did not land for me. Um, Cleopatra playing Miss Divine, I thought she was fantastic. Mm -hmm. I thought all the actors, the actresses were very, very good, very convincing. Yes. Even the bullies, uh, when they came into the house, you know, I thought that was very, very convincing. When, when um, you have convincing actors like that, it makes you feel like you're a right. part of the movie itself. And they did that for right. me. And there are certain scenes too, like when the mom brings down the pumpkins to, yes. uh, to, that, that's a part to me that was just like, okay yeah one of them has a sad face you know and there's little things that you're going to notice throughout the film but i agree with you i want to go back and re-watch the film and really dissect it again mm -hmm. because the way i felt right when the movie ended compared to how i feel right now when we were writing our review and we were talking about it all day i've been thinking about this movie mm -hmm. and i've been bouncing around different ideas and different things that they said throughout the movie and how it ended up turning on its head and yeah. um again if you haven't seen this movie Go to your nearest theater and watch it. If mm -hmm. it's available on VOD now, go and watch it. If there's a physical media release, please support and go and buy it because I promise you it's worth it. You will not be um, disappointed. Right. And I would like to see this story continued. Yes. Um, there are some times where you watch a film and you're like, that would be a perfect one-off film. Mm -hmm. If this is a one-off, I'm fine with that. It's still fine, yeah. With the way this movie ends, I would like to see this continued in some way. Mm -hmm. Mainly it's the selfishness of wanting to see our two characters come back. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. Again, guys, please let us know, have you seen Cobweb 2023? And if you have, sound off in the comments. Let us know what you think of the film. What are some of the positives and negatives that you took away from the film? Um, and if you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And follow Such Hammer Horror on social media. It really helps the channel more than you know. But until next time, keep talking horror. Say who you are. And we'll see you guys soon.